One of the biggest challenges with our intubated babies is, is keeping them comfortable and keeping them stable. Um, we want to be able to give them rest and time for their lungs to heal so that they can get that breathing tube out. But in order to do so, we, we have to make sure that they, their tube isn't moving and that it doesn't come out when it shouldn't. So the sonar med system has been what I would consider a game changer for us. It arms us with the tools necessary to see if what we think we're doing for our babies is actually doing that very thing. Having information like ET tube positioning and the patency of the tube just gives us the tools necessary to provide the highest quality of care, which is ultimately our goal for all of our infants. The thing that excites me the most is getting to know where the endotracheal tube tip is at all times. Getting to know where that tip is whenever we're moving babies for procedures, doing their daily cares, and doing these other high-risk things that may put that baby at potential of losing that endotracheal tube. We can actually prophylactically um, act and suction a baby before they end up having desaturations. So with SonarMed, when we have this information all the time, it allows us to do a lot less x-rays for our babies. Once the baby is born, within that first 24 hours, we get the baby onto skin to skin onto mom. But the downside of it is when you move that child and they're intubated, there is a risk for that tube to move. We know that kangaroo care or skin-to-skin -skin care is very important, especially for our smallest babies. Whenever the parents are able to see the tips of the endotracheal tube, they're able to know that they're not going to cause their baby to have an unplanned extubation. That's definitely one of their biggest fears when they're holding their babies. Data is extraordinarily important. Before I even engaged a conversation with Sonar Med, we were close to 1.5 to 2 was our unplanned excavation rate per 100 ventilator days. What we were doing was being reactionary, then proactive. And now with Sonar Med, we can be proactive to say, hey, that, that tube is starting to migrate a little bit further than we want it to, or that you know the occlusion is there, we really need an intervention to go do a suction or do what we need done. We've been watching our unplanned extubation rate just go lower and lower and lower and lower. We're very optimistic and enthusiastic, uh, and the staff has just been tickled by the, the results. The sonar med system helps me care for my both my extremely low birth weight babies as well as my bigger babies with breathing tubes to make sure that we are giving them the best care we possibly can.